I'm looking at this from the resident standpoint. Our quiet suburban neighborhood is being targeted for 16 cell towers to be installed within 20 feet of our homes. North Potomac is being targeted for a total of 61 cell towers. These 5G towers would emit radio frequency radiation into our yards, our homes, and our bodies 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And not surprisingly, cell towers would likely decrease our property values up for, by up to 20%. In the past few weeks, the results of the huge Ramazzini study and the peer review of the National Toxicology Program were published in very simple terms and something we can't avoid thinking about. The rodents in the $25 million National Toxicology Program developed unusual types of cancers when exposed to radiation similar to that associated with cell phones. The rodents in the Ramazzini study developed the same unusual types of cancers when exposed to radiation at levels that would be allowed in the 5G cell towers. Even more alarming, some cell phone users have developed these same unusual types of cancer. The FCC is currently relying on safety standards set in 1996, which were based on studies done in the 1980s. According to a new investigative article, the FCC has long been known to whitewash problems and quash scientific research on radiation from cell phones and towers. We do not consent to be human subjects used as laboratory rats in this radiation experiment. The county cannot get liability insurance because according to a recent article, insurance companies will not sell policies that cover cell phone or presumably cell tower radiation. It's time to press the pause button on 5G in residential areas. The current research points to potentially catastrophic outcomes if the current path is taken. We need to look to our, for alternative ways to accommodate our increasing needs for cell service that will not harm the citizens of Montgomery County. According to the Environmental Health Trust, wired fiber optic connections are safer, faster, more reliable, provide greater capacity, and are more cyber secure. In closing, I ask that you think long and hard about this. This is not about finding pretty cell towers or bowing to the demands of the wireless companies or the FCC. Your job is to legislate for the peace, good government, health, safety, or welfare of the county. Thank you. Thank you.